I can't believe this is happening. You did it. I mean, you got Michael released. You said you were going to do it, and you did it. I was so close to losing out. Come on, details, please. Huh. Every spin I could put, I mean, every, every argument I could think of, I threw out there. And the judge was monumentally unimpressed with me. I mean, my mind was racing. I was trying to think of the perfect thing to say that would get him to change his mind. I almost didn't hear him say, if he released Michael, it would be under tough restrictions. So you wanted to hear it so badly, your brain shut off when you actually did. I swear, Lou, I, I was so relieved I would have agreed to anything. And I'm sitting here with you. And realizing Michael being here is going to be a little crowded. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> About that. I just need some parameters. The idea is that Michael will be living here. Living here, like 24-7. Living here. And that was the judge's intention, yeah. And what are the tough restrictions? Well, Michael is, uh... Basically, my responsibility for the foreseeable future. It's going to be a curfew. Uh, restrictions on when and how long he can be out of the house. He's going to have an ankle monitor on, always. And then uh, community service. Yet to be determined. Oh, and he can't see Sonny. Really? The judge considers Sonny the worst kind of influence on Michael. His exact instructions were minimal contact. But uh, since I wholeheartedly agree, I'll have no problem enforcing that order. How was Carly? Well, I gave her your advice to count to ten. For all the good that did. I mean, she's really in a lot of pain. I'm trying hard not to show it. Nothing in that room is real. What do you mean? Well, my mom just sat there with this cheerful forced smile. Trying to act like her heart's not breaking, and I'm sitting there doing the exact same thing, forcing a smile. Trying to convince her that prison's not that big of a deal, and that everything's okay. If you see any way you look at it, this place sucks, so. Right this way. Your lucky day, Corinthos. Michael, you going home? Sorry, did you say home? Home. How? Talk to Judge Carroll. Practically begged and pleaded for mercy, but he finally agreed to suspend your sentence. There's, there's got to be conditions, right? Yeah, they're reasonable. He's got to live with me. He's got to do counseling, community service, wear an ankle monitor, but the good news is you are out of here. Okay, well, I'm not going anywhere without Jason. Oh, yeah, yes, you can, and that's what you're going to do. No, Jason, the only reason you agreed to plea bargain is to look after Look, me. this is what... Michael, this is what I wanted for you, for you to be free. Look, Michael, Jason knew when he took his deal, his release was not tied to yours. What's going to happen to him, then? He'll have to finish up his sentence. Five years, shot of parole in two. That's not fair. Listen, listen, okay. Listen to me. You do not belong here. This is a gift. I want you to take it. I want you to walk out of here, and you go back to your life. And you do not look back. Oh, I hate to get you out here. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Just go home. Dante persuaded Judge Carroll to release Michael. You're kidding. Nope. He gets out this afternoon, and he's going to be staying here. Uh, here with Dante? Yeah, that's, um, part of the conditions for his release. Right, right. <laughs> I was just thinking, that's, uh, that's gonna put quite a damper on your big romance. This is so awesome. We're gonna get to the Hankies game after all. Yeah, and I'll be really glad when you go so we can all stop hearing about it. Can someone say dangerously obsessed? Please. Pay no attention to them. They couldn't possibly understand. Okay, you know what? I 
can't find any of Michael's favorite frozen pizza. No, I think I can make the adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> different having Michael here, but what are we supposed to do? I mean, it's part of the terms of his release, and obviously Dante's willing to agree to anything that the judge wanted. Right. Gosh, you know that Dante, he is something. Never, never taking no for an answer, always making somebody change their mind. <laughs> well, at least his place is big. I mean, you guys can hang a curtain over there to work. Yeah, actually, I think Dante and I will just be spending more time at my place. I don't think so. Because isn't Dante being close to Michael kind of like the point? Probably. Yeah. But hey, don't worry. I mean, if you and Dante need some private time, you can always send Michael across the hall. I can hang out with him. Did you, did you get a call from Judge Carroll's office? Uh, no. Uh, it's been busy. Why is he calling? Well, uh, good news for a change. Michael's out of Pentonville. You jerking me around? It's a cop thing or what? Uh, it's at Carly's. I just dropped it's him off. At Carly's? Now, nobody called me. I'm telling you now. Well, that's all that matters. He's out. You did this? I just cut the judge on a good day. <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am. Um, let's go. Not so fast. Sorry. I just want to go and celebrate. Yeah, you can't. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean I can't? One of the conditions of Michael's release was minimal contact with you. Every time you give Milkbone, you give more than just 12 vitamins.